This is a level one noob. And in today's video, I'll only be using the Buddha fruit and going to the max level. All right, man. So first things first, we need to buy this Buddha fruit. And here it is. 1,650 Robux. Buy that. And bam. I'll also be picking up double XP for 24 hours. Bam. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, in our inventory right here. Let's transform. Let's do the first quest. And we all know this quest, you know. Just beat five bandits. And this should be the last one right here. Let's finish them off with the Buddha move. Impact. We'll be putting our points in melee. All right, man, we're already ready to go to the next island. Look at how weird this looks. All right, we're on the jungle now. Let's beat up these darn monkeys. Bro, this guy. All right. Bro, just stole my monkey. All right, gorillas now. And we can now fight the Gorilla King, our first boss. He should be pretty light work, honestly. Yeah, that's cute, but check this out. We got him low. That was light work. Why can I not drive the boat? All right, man, we're gonna have to just dash over. Whoa, the saw just spawned right on this island. Let's see, can we beat him? Okay, nope, nope. We're not even gonna try. Or are we? We just play ring around the... Okay. You know what? Forget that. We're just gonna go to the next island. Can't even sail in this. Are you kidding me right now? We're almost here. All right, we made it. Let's box up these pirates. Man, this Buddha fruit just makes it so easy. Now the brutes. That doesn't even hit me. All right, check this out. <laughs> All right, we are level 57, so we can now fight Buggy. He should be light work. Yeah, I mean, we can just keep our distance and punch him to death. Wait, hold this right quick. Bruh. There's no way. I tried to be cocky and finish him off flashily. But my blocks fruit stats aren't even upgraded. Anyways, we can go to the desert now. And we're here. Um... It's like there's someone already fighting. Uh, do you mind if I join, man? I'm so big, I can't even pick up chests. All right, this should be the last one. Bop. Now, we can make our way over to the frozen village. All right, we are here. In here, we should be able to get hockey and air jump. All right, air jump. Bop. And aura. This will help us out tremendously. If you press J, bam. Now we'll be able to do more damage. All right, we should be level 100 after this. And yes, our first 100 levels of the video. Only 2,450 left to go. And if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe because I did spend a lot of Robux. All right, let's pack up this Yeti now. I did beat your cousin up earlier, the Gorilla King. Don't think I'm not going to beat you up too. Yeah, just dodge that. Should be dead soon. Pop. Right, we can make our way over to Marine Fortress now. I just dookied on that Yeti. Nearing in. Ooh, someone's fighting somebody. Okay, let's do this quest. Oh, I'm gonna need this guy to chill and stop taking my stuff. Now we can fight the Vice Admiral. I am excited for this boss because he gives you a lot of levels. Let's just absolutely dookie on him right now. He can't even touch me. Oh, snap. Okay, we got him. And look at that, man. Beating this boy up so bad he fell down the stairs. Oh my goodness, bro. Where are you going? Cheesing the crap out of him. All right, say goodbye. Oh, we got the coat. Let's go. How did this ginormous coat drop from that little admiral? 
We could go to the Skylands, but it's not really worth it. We're just gonna stay here and grind till we can go to the prison. This coat gave us such a boost to our energy. Look how crazy this is. Oh my. Can I take him on? Bro, his health isn't even moving. Dead. What? Where'd he go? Okay, on our way over to the prison now. Alright, time to box up these prisoners. There's another Buddha here. Okay, bro. Do you want to fight? Like, do you want to fight? I will pack you up quick. You think that faces me? Level 223. We can do the Warden quest now. He should be a piece of cake. Last one. Easy work. Chief Warden now. He's a little harder, but nothing compared to this Buddha fruit. All right, bro, I'm gonna need you to chill out. So you wanna get boxed up too. Level 240, it's time for Swan. All right, Del Flamingo. Show me what you got. You're too little for me, bro, you're too little. You actually have a lot of health, bro. I'm punching you forever. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Did drop this pink coat. Which honestly, I prefer because I could use the extra health. Like our energy was already crazy enough. We don't need any more. And again, I could go to the Colosseum and grind, but I think it's better to just stay here. One eternity later. That took forever, but we can finally go to the Magma Village. Time to bang on these military soldiers. Honestly, we might as well pick up Flash Step. Damn. Oh my gosh, that looks so weird. I don't think you understand how much clicking I'm doing. I'm gonna have arthritis after this challenge. All right, next quest. These guys up here. Actually, so much easier than the first one. All right, man, it's finally that time for that Magma Admiral. There he is. And I'm just gonna enter through the top because I'm a boss. Here, bro. You are light work. Ooh, should be dead pretty soon. Here we go. Another one. Should be down. Yep. All right, we are finally a high enough level to go to the underwater city. And I'm actually stoked about it because there we can pick up a new fighting style. I've been using this combat forever. It's time for an upgrade. All right, let's go down. And the NPC should be somewhere over here. Yeah, like right in here. Oh, we're in. Here we can pick up water kung fu. Yes, learn it. Thank you. And later on, we can upgrade that to shark man karate, which is one of the best fighting styles for Buddha. Bro, that's just so much better. Oh my goodness. This is gonna speed up the process so much. We unlocked the mastery. Let's try it out. 1,000 melee acquired. Oh my goodness, that quest was so long. We can fight this steroid abuser now. Oh my goodness, bro. Chill. It was just a joke. Bro, like this... Look at how much damage I'm doing to him. Like, this fighting style is just so good. And this isn't even the better version either. Like, I'm spanking this dude to death. All up on the floor. Look at that, we got the trident. All right, man, we can make our way over to the Skylands. But before I do that, I do want to finish the Shanks quest. So I can get instinct. Just got to hit all these buttons. Now get the torch. Go in here. And grab the cup. Fill it up. There we go. And give it to the sick man in here. Talk to him and go fight the mob boss on this island right here. All right, bro, say goodbye. Talk to him again and go fight Shanks. Go here with the relic and he's missing. No problem, he's right here. Let's whoop him now. Bro, I can't even like fit through here. He's just so easy, like, goodbye. 
Now let's make our way over to the Skylands. We're here. And this is gonna be a piece of cake to go up. Yeah, there we go. We did unlock our other mastery, so let's see. Oh yeah, got some range. We can go ahead and drop in right now. Bro, ever since we got this fighting style, it's just been smooth sailing. It's about that time to fight the Weisper now. Let's be honest, he's gonna be easy. <laughs> easy. We actually got the bazooka from him. Look at how small that is in my hands. How can I even pull the trigger with these fingers? We are high enough now to take on the Thunder God. But before I do that, I do want to pick up this instinct. Yes, yes, yes. Let me buy it. Do you guys think he's going to make a comeback into the show? I personally think so. There's no way. This guy had one of the most OP fruits ever. We just packed him up right quick though. Man, I'm just absolutely bullying him. Bro. Someone get this man a coffin. Only two bosses left before we can leave the first sea. Oh my goodness. Wait, I just landed in the middle of the sea. On our way over to Fountain City. Absolutely demolishing these pirates. Here we go. Alright, this should be the last batch before Cyborg. And yes, our second to last boss of the first sea. Mr. Cyborg. Instinct coming in clutch. Got the cool shades. Wrap this boy up. Put him in a box. Send that boy away. Level 700. This is what our stats are looking like right now. We can finally take on the last boss of the first C. We just need to talk to Brozito right here. And he'll tell us to go to the frozen village. We're here. Key in hand. Open the door. There he is. Beat him up. Wow. This guy's getting demolished. Yeah, you don't even stand a chance. Ooh, we finally beat the last boss of the first C. Now we go to the middle town. We just need to talk to the guy right here. And yes, I would like to go to the second C. Here we are. Second C accomplished. All right. We still need a lot more to do, but man, am I happy. All right, let's just get straight to it then. Our first quest, the Raiders. We go all right on the mercenaries now these guys are so much weaker than the last ones i was grinding these mercenaries in the core just spawned someone's already there no bro we're all jumping the score okay i didn't get anything but i, I leveled up one more thing i need to do is roll a blocks fruit because i need to fight doflamingo later please be something good the rubber fruits that's not gonna cut it we need one worth a mil or more and by the way i'm doing these mercenaries because the boss is like all the way over there. All right, Swan Pirates now. All right, I know we can get Race V2 pretty soon, so I'm gonna do this Bartio quest in advance. Uh, gotta defeat 50 of these guys now. Last two right here, last one. Woo, that's a lot of levels. All right, now he wants us to kill German, who's up there. He's Lightwork. And now the last part of the quest. Wait, what's our timer at for this guy? We could trade up to get one to use for the swan battle. All right, we just gotta go in here. Last one. New title unlock the champion. All right, we just freed all these prisoners. Drippy or nah? All right, we finished that quest. Finally, we're high enough to go to the green zone. All right, eight marine lieutenants. I know we can get race V2 here, but where's the NPC? Ah, right here. Yep, we gotta get three flowers for him. I'm just waiting for night to fall so I can get the last flower. Dude, I've looked everywhere. I can't find this blue flower. Found it. All right, race V2. Good job, now I can make the potion. It is a little pricey, but it's worth it. Enhanced flash step cooldown and range and added one extra dodge to instinct. Yeah, that's better. On to the boss of this area. We are able to roll again. Diamond fruit. Two hours later. Ice fruit. Okay. All right. This should be our last couple of captains before we can go to the next island. And there we go. Now we can head on over to Graveyard Island. Get this quest. Zombies. Zombies. 
Man, this quest is so easy. You can just keep dashing to the different ones. All right, we can move on to vampires now. Yeah. Max melee acquired. All right, last vampire. Level 1000. And we can go ahead and go to the next island. All right, we're up here. Snow Mountain. What's the quest? I get these eight troopers. I found the strat. I just shoot over there and get him triggered to walk over here while I fight these guys off. And then when he comes over, it's an easy pick. Ooh! Finally, we can do our next quest. The only sucky thing is it's over here. Bro, hello? Are they gonna respawn? Yeah, it might just be better to do the first quest. Finally, that took so long. Now we can go to the hot and cold island. Perfect. I'm gonna pack up these lad subordinates right quick. Nine horned warriors. Wait, but I have an idea. What if I use the cannons from the ship? Okay, we missed. Bro, I can't hit them? Bro, stand still. Bruh. That does like no damage. At least with this one, a lot of them were already spawned. My fingers literally hurt from dashing so much. We can now fight Captain Smoker though. Like, Budafru just makes things so easy. Lightwork. No way, he actually dropped his weapon. How do you even say that? Is it JIT? Alright, Magma Ninjas now. Does Buddha make me immune to lava? Oh, no, it does not. And there's a lot of leveling up going on on this island. Oh my god, can you leave me alone? I didn't catch it on film, but this guy has been harassing me so many times and I keep killing him. All right, this should be the last quest. Last pirate. There we go. We can finally leave this island. Next place we have to go is the cursed ship. All right, let's go up. And in here, let's do the quest, ship deckhands. Man, we need to upgrade our fighting style. It's taken like seven hits to kill them, but I know we should be able to soon. All right, we can move on to the engineers now. Next quest at the ship, and that will be ship stewards. What the? I like this quest because they're all close to each other. Okay, next quest. Ship officers. Man, these past couple of islands have just been pure grinding. Alright, that was our last quest. We can now finally leave this ship. And we need to go to Ice Castle. Arctic Warriors. All right, next quest, Snow Lurkers. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of grinding. I'm gonna skip to the part where I fight the Ice Admiral. All right, we can go up this castle and fight Aokiji. There he is, in his awakened form. I mean, this is just like, okay. I'm still spanking him bad though. Like the thing is, the Buddha fruit just gives you so much range that they can't really do any attacks on you. I just got the library key. I guess we just talked to her. Bro, I accidentally put one in sword. Wait, I just got the hidden key. You come back here. You can open this chest. And, whoo, we got a nice sword, the Ren Goku. All right, well, this other boot is helping me out, but this should be the last boss. Okay, bro, you can chill. And now onto the last island of this sea. We are here. Forgotten Island. Let's do our first quest. Last one. All right, next quest. Now we can fight this Tide Keeper. Here we go. Knock that boy into the sea. Oh, snap. Just a couple more hits. There we go. And we did just get the water key from him. So we can give that to this guy. And he can teach her Sharkman Karate. 
but unfortunately i don't have any fragments so i'm gonna need to do a couple raids for that all right we're gonna start this raid there we go i'll be back when all of these are over six and a half hours later all right this is our last raid boss before we have enough fragments gotta just get these stragglers and there we have it 5,000 fragments it is now time for us to buy Sharkman Karate. Yes, I'd like to learn it. Let's go. Let's try it out on this boss. One health. There we go. That's so many levels. Last boss before we can finally move on. He's low. There we go. All right, guys, it took forever, but we managed to trade our way up to the Quake Fruit. So we are now ready to take on the main man, Don Swan. This is an excellent fruit. You may now speak to Swan. All right, he's in here. Um, where's he at? All right, I switched servers. They had me scared, man. I thought I lost my fruit. All right, he's it's just super light work. There we go. So now we just need to go to the Coliseum, talk to the NPC, and we can fight our last boss of the second C. All right, this guy, King Redhead. Can you go disrespect Rip Indra for me? Yes. Oh. Teleported right here. Smack him around. Smack him in the ocean. What? What happened? Alright, I need to go to the green zone and talk to a captain. I can take you to the third sea. Yes, I would like to go. Here we are, third C, our last C. Let's get our first quest. We unlocked our second mastery move, let's try it out. Pistol Billionaire, know they're up here. I think the third C is going to be pretty straightforward from here. Unlike the other ones, all we need to do is just grind it out. We don't have to take any extra steps or anything. All right, now we have to defeat Stone. There he is right there. Yeah, that doesn't affect me, boy. You're too little. You got him one. All right, we're leveled enough to go to the next island. NPC right here. Level 1600, next quest. Here they are up here on top of this mountain. We just got our final mastery attack. Let's test it out. All right, other side of the island now. What's the quest? Meal Islander. Is there only three? Oh no, there's some across the water. I hate how far I have to travel for these enemies. Onto the giants. They aren't even that giant. Wait, you can stand on the water here. What if I... Yeah. Alright, boss time. Come on, boa. One health. Oh, look at that. We got the serpent bow. Bro, oh, I'm so big, I'm holding it like this. Alright, last boss. And onto the next island we go. We're here at the Great Tree. Green Commodore. Gotta get eight rear admirals now. I found the new strat for traversing. All I need to do is use this move, and it's just so much better than the dash. All right, boss time. Kilo admiral. There we go. Oh, snap. We got the lay. Okay, I'm on the way to Turtle Island now. And let's do our first quest here. I like how they're right next to the quest giver. All right, captains. And there we go, next quest. Get to smacking them up. Wait, we can talk to this guy and defeat 50 of those pirates. And this quest gives us so much more XP. All right, last couple of ones. That's 
A lot of levels. All right, now he wants me to fight the boss. Here he is. Oh, he actually has me low. Got him. All right, mythological pirates now. There we go. 1900. On to the next quest giver. Musketeer pirate. All right, 1975. We can now go to the next island. And that would be the haunted castle. Okay, let's do our first quest. Reborn skeletons. Also, Thriller Bark was my favorite arc of the anime. I know it's an unpopular opinion, you know, people say it was too long and drawn out. And yes, I'll give them that, but it was still my favorite arc. Let me know what you guys' favorite arc was. Alright, we can go in the castle now. Monic Soul. This quest is perfect because the quest giver is literally right here. I think like six of them spawn. Let's fight the mummies now. New title unlocked, Skeleton. All right, next island. Okay, we're here. Sea of Treats. Give me the quest. Peanut Scout. This is also a good quest because the guy's right there too. We're getting close to being done, y'all. We're getting close to being done. Okay, let's clap these peanut presidents now. Alright, next island. Literally right here. Ice cream quest giver. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be on this island for a while. All right, last boss. I don't know what's going on. There we go, next island. Okay, cookie crafters. Oh no, the respawn time on these guys is long. Okay, on the guards now. Bro, these guys take forever to spawn and there's only like five of them. All right, second NPC. Oh yeah, this quest is much better. All right, last quest of the island. Finally, we can leave this island. All right, bro. More Sea of Treats quests, but eight Cocoa Warriors. Bro, please tell me these respawn quick, because that last island they took forever. They don't. Chocolate bar battlers. Okay, next quest. Defeat eight sweet thieves. Next quest. We've been in this sea of treats for so long. Uh, all right, next. This guy right here. All right, snow demons. Last one. Oh my goodness, finally we can leave these islands. That was the longest strain of quests that we had. All right, here we are, just a hundred levels left. Let's do our first quest, Isle Outlaws. Oh no, do only three of them spawn? All right, next quest, Island, Island Boys. Boy. We're getting so close. I 
Last one. Yes! Only 50 more levels to go and then we're done. Our second to last quest, Sunkissed Warriors. We can do the last quest now. Isle Champions. Our last enemy. Yes. Yes. Max level. It's finally done. We have finally completed the challenge. Noob to pro. Buddha only. If you guys like this video, make sure to help me out. Because this video did take me multiple days to record. But let me know if you guys want to see another video like this. Maybe with a different fruit like Kitsune, for example. And that's all. Peace. Ooh.